it's day four and it is sunny today. No clouds. I think I just tie my shoe too tight. Hold on. And today we're doing another sightseeing around Trumsa. I'm not really sure where we're going. Do you know? Uh, no. But we were supposed to meet them at 11. He just texted me, my uncle, and said, it's not until 12. So it is currently 10.45, so we're just gonna head out, walk around, maybe go to one of those like little, that little stand kiosk thing and buy a hot dog. I'm not really that hungry, but I know that we're gonna be driving for a long time and I'm really hoping that there's a place to eat, but it just seems that a priority food is just my priority in life and not everybody else's, so we might get this hot dog. And it's beautiful outside, I feel tired. It's just really cold here, so I feel like it takes a lot of your energy. And my eyes feel dry, and I just don't think I'm drinking enough water. But yeah, let's, <laughs> let's start this day. So right here, we're passing the library in Trumsa. This used to be a movie theater. After the revolution in Russia, the shipwreck you see here in the ocean came with refugees from Murmansk to Tromsø. This happened between 1917 and 1927, where it became a residence for the cormorants in Tromsø. So in Tromsø, there are a lot of reindeers, and one of the things that I wanted to do was to see some of them in person saw my uncle knew a place we had the opportunity and it was really nice our little coffee break here with a beautiful mountain view and uh, there were actually people downhill skiing from these mountains so we were able to see it through the binoculars Long road trips uh, I and ladies definitely had to use the bathroom and it is cold outside so luckily my aunt knew this little toilet that someone had put out for people that are on these long drives to use <laughs> so we had to shovel our way to the actual door to get inside but it So on our way up with the cable card to the top mountain to get a view over Tromsø city and to catch the northern light. As you can see here, the sky is dancing and is gorgeous. This is kind of difficult to catch on camera. It wasn't the biggest northern light moment, but I was able to catch some on video, but I did catch a lot more pictures 
on my phone and it's also easier to see the northern light through your phone compared to on the sky but luckily I was able to see it on the sky as well and it's one of the most magical moments that I've ever experienced in my life. Okay guys, so we just got back to the hotel and guess what? We just saw the northern light but I just want to show you guys how much I put on <laughs> to um, go outside. So I had a winter jacket over this so I'm wearing this um, neck thing as I showed you guys that I brought that it's in wool. I'm having these ski pants on. And I had obviously my winter boots on. I had, I'm gonna show you guys the gloves, but I just wanna show you guys how much I put on to go on top of this Tromsø, uh, um, the city, this top. Like you take the Fjellheisen, so the mountain elevator, if you would translate really directly, I'm sure. It, well, it's called a cable, cable cart? Yeah, yeah. mountain is cable cart. So it takes you up until the top of the mountain, as you could just saw. So let me show you guys. So I have this on. So instead of showing you guys when we put it all on, because I was at my uncle's house, my uncle and my aunt's house. So um, we were all like four people trying to get dressed. So I have this that's in wool, and then I have this sweater, which is really thick, and it's also a wool sweater. This used to be my grandma's sweater. So I have that on. Underneath this wool sweater, I have a fleece sweater. <laughs> Underneath this fleece sweater, I have a wool sweater again. This is like the thin wool underwear that we wear. Underneath these, uh, what is this called? Like ski pants. They're like windbreakers. So they're really good when it's really windy outside. So I know it's weird that I'm taking. So under these, which... I don't know if you can see the fabric, but they're great when it's windy. So under these winter windy pants, which I'm really happy that I brought, found them at home. So these pants, I got a pair of wool sweats. So these are wool and silk sweats. So they're 70% wool. And I have those underneath, <laughs> underneath this one again. But I have, underneath this again, I have the long johns. So, and on the feet, I do have some wool socks. Because I couldn't fit more in my shoes. But in my shoes, there's already wool soles. Um, so, yeah. For my hands, I have them in here. So, I have these wool mittens, which is also something that I got um from my grandmother well they used to be my grandma so i have these on on top of those i have these white ones which are also in wool i don't know if you knew or you could see but this little uh, northern light hunting or looking for the northern light thing and taking and going up and like trying to see the, the northern light which i did Woo! this trip is complete I've seen the northern light and it was beautiful so yeah so it was very cold and it's freezing I even have the hoodie and I had my air muds as well so it's freezing so if you're gonna go here in the winter time and go up to the cable car and top of the room set with the view you need to have layers on that's my recommendation so <laughs> then we're just gonna relax it is currently 9 30 p.m so we're just gonna chill out and i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow because we're leaving tomorrow so i'm probably gonna close it out tomorrow morning after we've had breakfast so that's that guys i don't know if you can see guys but it's literally the storm outside like it's wild Guys, you cannot even see anything outside right now, barely. Look down here. The wind is just wild. Oh, look at the back. Nothing is visible. Good morning, guys. It's day five, and we are leaving today. Woo. So this has been a really, really great trip. And I could check a lot of things off my bucket list in life. Northern Light is definitely one. Pretty much a snowstorm outside now. 
we have to check out at 12 and it's 10 now so we're just gonna do some packing because I do have to clean up this suitcase like this is what it looks like right now so that's what needs to be okay that's what needs to happen and yeah I just wanted to close out the video right here I don't really have much to say at the end of the video this video is also all going to just be a lot of footage and not that much talking mostly because I spent a lot of time with family and so I'm saying it's just like the scenery speaks for itself and we travel to a lot of places and I just do not remember what the places were called if I do remember I will definitely <laughs> uh, write that during the video but it was mostly just to show you guys during the winter and explore the northern light and visit some family so let's get to packing so I'm bringing two coats with me the fur coat that you saw and a different coat that used to be like my mom's grandma's coat and one of them is my grandma's coat so um but they were here at my uncle and aunt's house so yeah we'll see how that works out in the suitcase but other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video from Tromsa, and I do recommend if anybody hasn't been here, I highly recommend just going. It's a very small town, so there might not be a lot of things to do, especially if you come from Oslo, a big city. Um, but it's really cute, and the scenery is absolutely stunning. If you love being outdoors, this is the perfect place for you. And make sure... If you want to see the northern light this is also a really really great place to be so yesterday was said it was going to be like a low quality or like low chance of seeing it but it, we saw it perfectly fine you mostly have to see it through your phone though but it was actually I mean it kind of got better after we were standing in there for a little while so we we were able to see it on the sky and not just through our phone um but it came and it left pretty quickly but now as you can see it's like tonight you probably can't see anything because as long as it's cloudy it's going to be hard to see the northern light but i do recommend going to see it and i do recommend just visiting the city because it's just a beautiful scenery that's that other than that uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video bye I just want to add this in. It's the hairstyle and my grandma's jacket for me. Okay, don't call me bad and bushy for nothing.